Hello and welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm back playing on IDAY again, and I know it's been a year or more than a year actually. What I've been doing is actually schoolwork and actually doing useful stuff. But I'm back, and now I'm. This should be uh, season two now because it's basically a year, and I will be building Echelon, my um, medieval-styled city, um, city castle, underground city complex uh, thing. What I'm doing currently is building the walls surrounding it. I'm, I've planned it to be from here all the way there. I'll do get rid of this cavern and that cavern, but going from here all the way over here to here and then coming back. I am firstly building the wall because you always should build up walls and to give you a taste of um, my block palette I shall th this is my block palette currently Takes a lot of effort to um, make sure that you correctly distribute, but I'll say that's kind of good. And that's basically it. And I would put uh, iron bars atop it. And so that's basically the wall. That's basically the wall. And that goes all around. It's a nine block gap. So I can, sh I can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is nine, so it's nine block gap. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That is ten, meaning that I put four spruce logs. Um, actually, oops, I, wait, what's, that's one, two, three, four, that's one, two, three, and four, why does that look, okay, that looks good now. I'm using a mixture of, um, spruce logs and stripped oak logs to give a bit of depth, that's, um, instead of making, like, just pillars, giving stuff like this a bit of depth helps, um, in terms of, Making it feel like a wall, <laughs> I guess. It's kind of complicated, I'll have to say it, but yeah. So then I'll have another section here. So it's a mainly polished blackstone. And then there's just a bit of crack deep slate here and there to add that extra little bit of depth. Um, if you've ever watched Green or a uh, similar builder, you will see that making block palettes is crucial to making a good, um, uh, yeah, making good build. And now, I, now what I'll do is. Yeah, actually I can connect this, that makes it look nicer actually. What does that look? That looks like a continuous bar going on top of it with a bit of depth and a color palette. And so this is the basic uh, color palette of Echelon. And right now we'll just I'll just continue building, I guess. We'll do uh we'll divide nine uh we'll actually have a, a nine and then a corner because I wanna have corner. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Putting spruce logs there, 
I only need to put four this time. Actually, no. Hold on a sec. I actually only need to put three, actually. Um. Since you want the, the wall to be the exact same height, overall, you want to keep it about the same, so yeah. But instead of this one, actually, instead of being, instead of this one, oops, uh, I always need grass blocks in my inventory, I do this a lot. Actually, instead of this being like a normal wall section, I want this to be a curved wall section. So what I'm going to be doing is, we strip the log, and then having another spruce log here, making it a curved section. I'm cracked! Do you get it? Do you get the joke? I am cracked. Cracked deep sea eggs. <sighs> My jokes aren't funny. And... So now, what I've got is a pretty nice looking wall. I think we'll do three sections per side so it's... So it'll be 10, so it'll be 1, 2, 3, um, so that'll be 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, that's 12 plus 27, which is, oh my god, I can't do a piece of math, um, 39, 39 blocks, not a perfect 40, but it's 39 blocks. Also, I reckon this side should be the main entrance. So that's one, two, three, four, and then this should be the center line. There we go. Um, I'll have to make uh, that. This is the main entrance for now. I'll have to uh, redecorate this later. But main entrance for now. That's the main entrance. Also, um, very important thing when you're making stuff like this is lighting. And you need to decide between torches, sea lanterns, uh, lanterns, um, candles, uh, and redstone sources. I'm going to go with torches, or like, yeah. I'm going to go with torches because I can fit torches nicely in these little areas. Which make it much easier. Actually, I just realized if it's like that, this side needs uh, this side actually needs to be a curve section. There we go. And. If I do. Uh, that, that's a simple way, 69,000 uh, is an easy way to get it, get a nice night, which is just night. And you can see it gives pretty good um, coverage, if, if you want you can also map out this 1, 2, 3, 4, so a torch goes there, um, I can also I don't think, no, I can't chuck on the torch there. Um, I can chuck on the torch there to add a little bit more brightness. But, you'll, you'll have to be lying if you don't, if you if you say that this doesn't look cool. At least in my eyes, it looks beautiful. Also, once I upload this to YouTube, whoever can, like, uh, this, uh, understand what accent I, I randomly have would be helpful. It's weird. Extremely. Second part. There's two ways to fill up cabins like this. Um, I'm gonna go for the lazy way and just to 
do a covering, just like cover it and then. This doesn't, this doesn't exist. This does not exist. Most of the time this is the easiest option. It isn't the best. But in, in, I'll be lying if I say this is one of the better ways to do it. Because it's not a good way. Um, if you're bu if you're doing anything underground, which this castle, I just realized my castle will be sitting right here. If I do anything underground, I'll have to, I'll have to like remine that area out and uh, fill it up. But you know that that's that's uh, a problem for future me. Current me um, does, doesn't want to care about that problem. So current me is just nonchalantly filling the gaps up. Uh, you can also do this when you've got creeper holes and you don't particularly want to do or invest all the time and energy into like actually filling up a creeper hole or a TNT hole. That's kind of easier because it doesn't it isn't like a cave system, but it's still slightly irritating sometimes. You might also want to vary your um your elevation slightly so it blends it and doesn't look so artificial. That's another way of easily. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of just rambling right now, and I have no idea whether that's good for audience retention. I, I'm talking because I'm talking. <laughs> I think there should be a little bit more um, daylight. There we go. A little bit more natural daylight. Oh, okay. Did not realize that. So you can see it's pretty unnatural actually. But I mean it's an attempt, it's an attempt. I think keeping it all at one universal level actually might help instead of hurting too much this time, I guess, possibly. I have no idea. So there's a lot more to do here, and I think we'll do we'll cover that next episode today. So recap for whoever hasn't been paying attention to my Jerry voice, I have built one uh one quarter of my wall, done a bit of filling up the ground, and talked. Thank you for listening. I uh, hope you subscribe. It's uh. I, I don't want to sound cliche, but it technically is free. Actually, technically it isn't free because you have to waste a bit of your time and energy clicking on it, but it's free compared to having to spend money on Patreon and such, supporting your creators when they don't get enough money from ads and such to keep them alive, else they'll die, and then you'll have to... Uh, and then you have to suffer not being able to watch their videos. Subscribing and liking is normally slightly better than that so yeah thank you